18 and I think which one is is it the videographer? Yes, the videographer. Shall it be good? And you for know that your money for go high, like two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand Ghana is like two billion. Old Ghana is two billion, three billion. Mm -hmm. Echo. Echo. That's like fifty thousand, forty thousand. ACM Thomas, I want you to wear these rings as a daily reminder of your faith and of the vows you have made to each other. guys welcome back to another episode of my wedding vlog and this is uh prim sugar jr don't forget earlier before we've been showing you guys other video other wedding videos on the wedding vlog series on my channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share with family and friends today i'm doing a quick reaction on that uh, till death do us click on this very wedding uh, which happens it last year it was very uh luxurious wedding to me i would say very expensive wedding and i'm doing this reaction with a colleague uh i happens to be a wedding blogger and he hasn't seen it so i want to uh, get his reaction to the wedding video and see what he will say to it so i am prem sugar junior and he is yeah lifestyle all right so we jump into this video i want to know your uh, take on when we say expensive weddings now people are saying Ghanaians are doing too much expensive weddings mm. looking at this video to me if you are to go through you realize yes money went into the wedding what would you say to <clears throat> a wedding when we say it's expensive okay so me when someone tells me a wedding is expensive what first comes in mind is um, like the event like where th where the wedding took place because mm -hmm. i feel like where the wedding took place has more emphasis on on the wedding on the wedding you understand mm -hmm. if we go and do wedding for kuba accident since charlie nobody will can talk to be expensive but if you do wedding for some luxurious hotel automatically like people assume that it's expensive because the place you're even hosting the wedding is expensive so that's the first thing i look at the the venue where the wedding took place and also the costume and the person who is getting married like who is that person okay so the 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 the, 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 person, the, the, the personality of the person the location and then the costumes makes will tell you that look this thing looks mm -hmm. expensive so that's the thing so the location consists of maybe the reception the whole the whole plan the whole thing the whole location let me let me let me let me make it <coughs> let me make a bit uh, easy for you do you mean the decor coming in the photography the videographer the event planner do you mean this uh, wedding uh, vendors that are making the wedding expensive well it might not even be the wedding vendor it's just about where you do the wedding like if you do a wedding in in like let's say Abu Dhabi in Dubai in some five star hotel automatically is an expensive word. All right, so let's jump straight into the video. Like you see, your bed's too. I do it. What do you make of uh, the bride's entry for the video? Uh, I think it's 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 sweet. It's normal. I've seen it mostly. Like that's what the ladies do. Like they always feel emotional when they read, like the vows or. Okay, on the corner. I can't believe this is really happening. So people often say that your cousins are your first best friends, but Essie. Yeah, like like this reception, like this, like if you see this kind of re reception. Charlie, so this this to me i think this is the deco you are talking about the deco the, yeah, the, 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 the deco is part of it's part of it the reception yes yeah, part of the reception okay okay you understand so okay. like the deco the lighting you tells you that look this is some well spent money it's so much more to me she's my sister she's my confidant she's my cheerleader and she's my personal best I think this is Lamadi. 
Yeah, beach. so that that place was uh, La Beach Hotel. Yeah. La Beach Hotel. And I saw, I think I have. You have a face. Yes, yeah, I've seen this. Yes, Sarko just went. I've seen the similar. Yes, 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 yes. I have no doubt in my mind that these two couples, are like something like this. Come on, you can't just come and sit on like this Greece. You are standing on yes. some hill or some tower or something in Greece in Santorini. Yeah, Charlie, you have to spend money. For me, I, I see say AC then Thomas this wedding. In fact. It's, for me it's it's it's, 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 not it's, wedding. it's one of the most expensive weddings i've seen like visually like on screen on see but I, I know they are more expensive when out there but so far the ones i've seen this looks more expensive like this looks recording video in to insert into a video for your wedding and doing this at greece alone that means you have to f- uh, uh book the videographer yeah i mean the photographer yeah. all the way to grace to take this shot and piece their before. wedding looks more i don't know it has some class to it it, it, it looks more you know yeah well organized well organized so big ups to the uh, organizers yes that's my princess at this place ac was looking so beautiful if you could uh see how she was all relaxed, calm. Oh yeah, looking, they got yeah. She looking be sweet, looking nice, and she be and sweet. it was her day, so looking all pretty and beautiful. I think she really deserved. Yeah, she, she be sweet. Everything yes. is you know succulent, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are not You will look after her well. Because I trust you. Thank you. Welcome to you. Let's. What do you think about the opening scene of what Father was saying at the reception, yeah, saying perfect, that perfect. Uh, Thomas now is going to take care of uh, his daughter? Yeah, and perfect. I mean, that, that's a normal thing that that is doing the wedding, so it's perfect. All right. <laughs> First of all, a quick trailer of the whole wedding uh, that was put together by the videographer before uh, Vitro moving, lines. Vitro lines, before yeah, moving good, into good. the. Uh, I think he really did well putting all the pieces together. Oh yeah. yeah. If if it's your first time watching, you could even realize that this whole wedding was fun and was interesting. Yeah, uh, Vitro lines. I'm, I'm I'm booking him for my wedding, 2043 or something like that. <laughs> so to me i think that uh, whole trailer before the uh, video starts it's nice it's dope and big ups to ritual lines for doing this and uh before we move on i i want to say something the costume of thomas the groom i know is a culture of some people the greece and i it was my first time seeing this i i was so amazed about how he was dressed for the white wedding mm. because looking at the traditional wedding, we are not doing about the tradition but the white wedding specifically his dress the suit with uh the woman's skirts i don't know like i mean for me i think it was unique and it doesn't look absurd because he's white he's you know he's, he's, he's an european so it looks cool on him so for me yeah why not Charlie? and he's repping his culture or whatever okay. so it's good it's, it's perfect All right okay the color smoke uh i think he also added some flair to the video the way they were kissing the bridesmaids oh, yeah, 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 at the yeah, background yeah, yeah. cheering them up also with the smoke uh color smoke what what do you make of it yeah yeah it was really a thoughtful scene like whoever put this directing together just perfect perfect like perfect i like it <laughs> When you said hello to me and we had a conversation, everything felt still for one second. Ah, this be Labadi. That be Labadi. The uh, wide view. The uh, everything uh, felt still for one. Labadi Beach Hotel. 
you could see how oh, it was okay. like. And I felt that tornado I was in stopped spinning. And it was one of the most indescribable comps. Looking at the frame of the entry of the bride, to me, I think is dope. Oh, you ever think about things I never felt? I've only felt that feeling when I'm free. Um, which is crazy considering that you're one of the most chaotic people that I know. <laughs> you have the most amazing hunger to learn and experience the world. You've spoken trees so many times in the past few days, I didn't know it was possible. I promise to always support Celtic, <laughs> even amidst any Rangers defeats. I promise to be the woman of God that you need me to be, to pray enough for the both of us. I promise to remind you whenever you may lose sight of it, that you are put on this earth for a higher, more divine purpose. I promise to love you so fiercely and stand by your side through anything. Let's, let's react to this. Uh, the bride reading her vow to her husband, uh, the husband to be crying, sharing tears. W- what comes in mind? Um, yeah, it's romantic. I feel like maybe the the vow was never read to him. Like, you know, maybe some people they read a vow like, hey, baby, this vow, this vow, I'm going to read. Is it nice? Is it romantic? So that means so like, he didn't share. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure the guy knew about it. Knew about the words or, or the whole pampering and romance and affection in the in the in the vow that she read so that's why it really touched him at that spot mm-hmm. and it was an emotional scene because yes. you're getting married to the woman of your life and she's there telling you all the sweet things in the wealth that a woman can tell you and it, it feels refreshing but if like i've heard it before i would be, be like it'd be one of those things yeah, yeah. i mean every day you read <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I like it. Big ups to AC for that words to her yeah, husband to me. Yeah, son of the moon, yeah. Son of the moon. Where is the moon? I can never have imagined that three years. And the bridesmaids are sweet. Sweet. You, I know you talk about women. Charlie. I know you talk about women. Girls for the bridesmaids inside, Charlie. I don't know. I don't get money. Oh, I'd arrive in New York, walk into the hotel with a man home, and meet the woman I was going to marry right there and then. I didn't know that I could be as happy as I am now. So my vows to you today are, I promise never to let the fun leave a relationship, even if you don't always agree that it's fun. (laughs) I promise to try and inspire you throughout our lives as much as you inspire me and as much as you inspire everyone around you. I promise that I will always encourage you to let your light shine and support. Like, oh, they go really she be fine girl looking at the she way they, any, any <coughs> nasty stuff for they cut the video all of the amazing things that you'll you continue to achieve in this life what tree is that which one this one it's mm-hmm. it's a decor setup i promise to be there with you when times are tough through whatever life throws at us and i know we can always face and overcome anything together i promise that if we're blessed with children they will never forget where they came from and i promise that let's let's take a look at this scene uh bringing in bringing in the uh independent square ah uh, oh yeah that makes it Ghanaian, you know you know yeah so shot in ghana and the girl is Ghanaian. So. okay where they and came from in the, um, maybe greece, Atonian. yeah the greece part is that i will always love you and cherish every moment that we have to do. Like this particular scene. So, Esli and Thomas, I want you to wear these rings as a daily reminder of your faith and of the vows you have made to each other and to God. And I pray that your home will be a haven of blessings. And the deco for the reception. It should be dinner or reception. You could see big ups to Exidel event for putting up this decor. What do you make of Jesus. this whole setup, the reception? I'm sure this part is a scene from uh, one of the halls in uh, Abadi. <laughs> what do you make of it? This one will be more new. Charlie, too much. Now what the stage. Well, go risk, but this Charlie Bob mad. Mm. Right I think which one is is it the videographer? Yes, the videographer. Charlie, be good. The, uh, their dresses. You could realize it looks as if they change themselves. Not more than three, no more than four. 
Yeah, I mean that's what they do, right? They have one for the wedding, one for the reception. So, so they do ask, click, dope wedding. Thomas and AC. Right. So before we move to uh, the scene where Stone Boy came in, uh, Stone Boy seems over the years uh, when we talk about wedding Ghanaian wedding industry, he has been performing on several weddings, mm. and I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Is it that other other musicians they are too high to be paid for weddings? Mm. I don't know. What what do you make of? I think it? it's a choice of um, the bride or groom who the their favorite artist is. Like if me, I'm getting married and ask him to bring an artist. Like, like you know, I'll bring a different artist. Like I'll bring my favorite mm-hmm. artist. So, so I think Stone Boy is their favorite artist, and Stone Boy happens to be most people's. Who are getting my like most bride and groom's favorite art. that's why you've been seeing him in most um do, do you think it's about the kind of mu- uh, songs he has that's why maybe they are choosing or it's just oh, if it's about the kind of music like Pabwa, then uh, he those romantic singers you know so mm-hmm. like they will occupy all the weddings but it's just about who your favorite artist is okay you can even bring that to your wedding and, and just it just still be dope okay. because He's your favorite artist. So, so it's, it's not about, about the songs. No, no, no. It's, it's about, about how you my connect favorite. with your yeah, favorite. Okay. I just want to be my favorite <coughs> artist to my wedding. Because moving forward at his performance, the way he was connecting with the bride and the groom was all lovely. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah, looking yeah. so sweet. And I believe they've paid you to have to. <laughs> And often, and often, it's not all about the, the, the performance. We are you just for become. Oh yeah, it's a just wedding, keep right? The whole and everyone is just in their dinner, so it's not about come to jump jump. No, just let them for the vibe. That There's you something uh, at the end of the video I would want you to watch, especially this part. All right, so big ups to MC <coughs> Kabute, one of the Ghanaians wedding uh, best MC Who's so that? far, uh, Mr. Yes, right. Kabute. Oh, yes. Okay. So before I was, I, I made mention that take notice of the groom. He seems to know the words of this particular song. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That is your favorite artist. Do you think? Because looking at, uh, come on, other other white people may not be able to sing or may not be able to flow, especially when it happens. Uh, they are even it's their favorite but then worse to worse earlier mm-hmm. you see the bride was saying that the way the groom was able to indeed pick up the tree language she was amazed yeah, so i'm saying that yeah i mean they both agreed on who they should which artist they should bring and then i, I think they both like stone boys music so it's it's for me it's okay it's okay normal for them for him to sing along <laughs> I got fine, I got you talk for that, I was gonna get off of that. You should have time for that, you Come on, move, move on, la. Yeah, I got fine, man. But, On this note, uh, we bring uh, the video reaction to an end because the ending part of was uh, Stone Boy uh, trying to explain his uh, song to the couples and to the wedding guests there. But then, to me, I I, I, I want to I want us to make a quick uh, mm-hmm. observation on this uh, weddings these days in Ghana. Mm-hmm. It's becoming, should I say, very 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 expensive very, very uh too much heavy weight for couples especially uh newly couples who are coming upcoming couples upcoming uh bride and groom who want to get married looking at this don't you think you put pressure on them on who 
<laughs> on upcoming games and brands. Oh, I mean, that's why the fact is about money. But to me, don't you think? Uh, oh, because you can still uh, achieve like you can still achieve a bit of glamour mm-hmm. in a small budget. You understand? Yeah. It all depends on the type of person you are. Mm-hmm. There are some people like in school. Eh, we all in school. We're all broke. Mm-hmm. But there are some people when they step out to mm-hmm. class, they are looking fresh. Mm-hmm. Even though we are all class six students, there's some people that they, they, they want everything to be just perfect for them. Mm-hmm. So even with little money, you can still, you know, you can still put out something, you know, je, je, je. But mm-hmm. I mean, it's just that these days weddings are expensive. That one day for a fact, mm-hmm. from the recent one we went, mm-hmm. our, our friend who last is wearing mm-hmm. like this, you could tell that look, Charlie, weddings are expensive. Yeah, expensive. Yes. So if you see something like this and then you like it and you want to. Subscribe or want to the same thing. Ten. Then you for know that your money for go high, like two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand Ghana is like two billion. Old Ghana is two billion, three billion. Mm-hmm. Echo. Echo. That's like fifty thousand for dollars. Because to me, I I think budget. I think uh, weddings these days, the way it looks more okay, more calm, especially we upcoming uh, young guys who want to get married. If if you are if you are of the kind that you would want to put out, uh, should I say, a luxurious wedding for everybody to see, uh, means you have to get guap for your. Po- oh yeah, forget guap and mm-hmm. forget a stable job, a business, or your fa- your father and mother has money so that they can support so you. So they can support you and make it big and large. But if you are coming from a street like me, from zero, my guy, just just chill, you know, just chill. There'll be times where you have enough money, and then the woman that you love. You, c- you can always have a wedding anniversary so you can do it even quietly nobody will even know you're married just go and see the parents before the, before before you move on let me let me put in this uh i want to say a big shout out to the wedding vendors uh photography was by jima photography videography earlier we made mention ritual lines planning and coordination exidel and victoria abdel engagement decor on point gh wedding decor on point gh that's a point of correction so the wedding decor was by on point gh and eventels and uh the wedding backdrop ectonam some lighting and special effect narrow events gh uh couple star team uh couple star team i think looking at the list here maybe he's talking about the Makeup people is the real makeup over reveal saloon, uh, melanin crank reveal GH, uh, and so forth and so on, and also media team. Okay, so media team consists of the photographers, the video, the live blogger, live weddings with Kwa Kwa Ku, uh, the law, uh, the local bar, Savo Paradise bar, okay, and so on and so forth, and then the DJ now, DJs and sounds and mcs looking at weddings there seems to be the people that turn up weddings what what do you make of it dj yeah. djs and mcs what do you think i think there's a now there's a whole business model around weddings weddings because weddings are becoming more it's become like fashion everyone wants to do it like perfect best and it, it's your day right it's your it's your it's one of the special days that you, you uh, to me i think ac AC specifically, the bride will never forget about this. Yeah, well, you understand. So when you look into it deep, when you have when your pockets are deep, come on, man, you can throw money into it because it's your day. It's the day you're married, and this girl is not any girl. It's a girl you love. You claim you love, like the woman, so you someone claim that you, love. you really, really <coughs> love. You shouldn't be scared throwing deep pockets on in here, right? So there's a whole business model around wedding these days, from event planners. From the from event the, stylist, the stylist, photographers, from the receptionists, from the photographers, from the videographers, from the even the bloggers are making money of it. So that from the people who do podcasts and discussions on it, they also is a business, right? It's so the yeah. MC, DJ, sounds. sounds, lighting. So there's a whole business around it. So come on, weddings are gloomy. So if you're out there, you have a talent in all these things, you can just start small you know cover your friend's wedding help a friend who's getting married do decor do photography do lighting do dj do mc anything that you're perfect in and then maybe you can start from there and then you might grow so yeah that, that, that's it 
all right guys so on this very note we are drawing curtains on this very episode of our reaction to till them to ask click uh wedding video which was uh indeed made by retro uh, lines indeed is a video production for weddings so if you want to get connect with them you can check their instagram page dm them and book them for your upcoming wedding if you're new here and you've not subscribed to the channel please kindly do so subscribe to the channel and also like our various uh videos watch our various videos comment and share with family and friends we have several videos on the wedding vlog series on my channel prim sugar jr Please do well, subscribe because...